Welcome to another Marvel tutorial. Today we're going to go through how to link your designs together using hotspots. So hotspots are interactive areas that you draw over your designs to allow you to link to other screens that you've uploaded. Once you've done that you can add animations and gestures and then eventually play your prototype. Once your designs have finished uploading you are ready to prototype. So the first thing you need to do is hover over any image in your project and click on prototype. So let's click and drag to draw a hotspot, which is an interactive area on our design. Once you've drawn it, you'll be presented with the other images that you've uploaded to your project. I want my hotspot to link to this particular design, so I'm going to select it. And that enables a number of different options in the menu. I'm going to give you a really quick overview of each of these options, but we do have additional videos which you can watch if you want a more in-depth tutorial. Screen transition is where you can add an animation when your screen moves to another screen in your project. Actions allow you to define whether you want someone to click, tap or do a gesture with your hotspot. Link to last visited acts in a very similar way to the browser back button. It will automatically take the user back to the last screen that they're on. Link to URL or embed allows you to link your hotspot to a website, blog post or a piece of content online or you can embed content such as videos from YouTube or audio tracks from Spotify. Scroll to anchor allows you to move to another position on the same screen. Keep scroll position is for when you need to match the exact position you're on when you're moving to the next screen. And finally, we have layer an image, which allows you to add more realistic elements on top of your designs, such as modals, popovers, and tooltips. If you want to find out more about layer an image, check out our tutorial videos. Okay, so let's get back to the prototype. We've selected an image and now let's add a transition. And as you can see, there are tons of different ones available. I'm going to pick slide up to animate to the next screen. And I can also add an action. And actions allow me to define whether I want the user to use a gesture to move to the next screen or a click or a tap. In this particular case, I'd like a click or a tap to move to the next screen. Great, we've got our first hotspot. So we can test this out by clicking play. And we can see that the hotspot is now working and the first screen slides up. So that looks great. So now we can move on to the next screens. And the process is exactly the same. You draw a hotspot over the area you want to link. You pick the screen and then you can use the right and left arrows to move between screens or you can use the arrow keys. And now on longer screens, I can add a fixed footer. So a fixed footer keeps the area at the bottom of the screen fixed while the rest of it scrolls. So let's add one in here and let's add another hotspot. And now we're going through the rest of the prototype, adding the hotspots to link each screen together. So now we've finished linking our final screen, we're ready to play our prototype from end to end for the first time. So close the editor and hit play in your project. This opens play mode and this is where you get to interact with your prototype, test it out and make sure everything is working correctly before sharing it with others. And play mode adapts to whatever device is viewing it. So if you're on a mobile device, you'll see your prototype played back in full screen. And if you're in a browser, you'll get the mobile device as the frame around your design. Let's check out the end result and click through the screens. And you can see the transitions, fixed footer working there. And I can click through each of the screens to get to the final checkout completion screen in my prototype. And that wraps up our guide to using hotspots in Marvel. If you want to find out more about Marvel, head to www.marvelapp.com. Thanks for watching.